So today we are here at the INCAP headquarters. Uh, thank you, Otto, for having us here. Thank you very much, um, Jonas, for coming. Thank you. Uh, you published your Q4 result a few hours ago. Uh, how the Q4 went and what were the main events? No, I think uh, we were very happy with the Q4. Uh, we had, we uh, were able to match the, the very strong Q4 we had in, in 2018, even with, with some non-occurring costs in that sense. Uh, due to the AVS uh, acquisition. And I think in general, we're very happy with, with 2019. We showed a strong growth in, in the year and, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to keep on going. Yes. Um, how does your market environment look regarding the full year of 2020? No, I think uh, 2020, of course, uh, long term, I think, uh, as I've said before, that, that electronics goes everywhere and, and uh, uh, we see that that is a good market to be in. Yeah. Uh, short term, of course, uh, we're monitoring, for example, the coronavirus now uh, closely. Uh, even if uh, this has fallen, we're close to the Chinese New Year yeah. and we are always prepared for the Chinese New Year yes. with increasing our stock levels. Uh, but yeah, short term, we're a little bit looking at that. Long term, I think electronics business were a good environment to be in. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any significant changes in your competitive landscape during the last last quarter or during the last year? I think I think you see uh, a quite strong consolidation of uh, going on in, in European EMS market. Yeah. Um, and in the past years, uh, we have seen uh, many M&A cases in, in, in Europe. And I think that is also uh, a good signal now when we have also <laughs> taken our step into to the M&A world. Yeah. Uh, if we take a little deeper dive on your year 2020, uh, what do you see to be your main development areas as a company? Of course, we were finalizing the investments uh, that we took decision on on in uh, now in in uh, 2019. So, yeah. so the expansion in India and uh, getting the um, new line up and running properly in Estonia, uh, of course, is is in focus. Uh, but the main activity, of course, is the integration of the acquisition we have made, yeah. and and that we have already started. We are doing different projects, and and I'm quite pleased with the result where we are so far. Yeah, you already mentioned the AVS acquisition. And, and you started the year with the bank when you uh, published the, the deal. Uh, what kind of a company AVS, AVS is and why it was such a good strategical and operational fit for Inca? I, I think, I think uh, the, the biggest, uh, uh, I would say, uh, uh, the, 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 the big main reason why we chose AWS is that it is, of course, a very solid uh, company when it comes to the customer base. Uh, we have been in INCAP a little bit dependent on a few bigger yeah. customer accounts that we have now balanced out very nicely with AWS. Yeah. And we see also that the customer base and the segments that they are in are also possible for us to expand in, 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 in our other factories. Yeah. So, so uh, but otherwise, uh, a very competent company where they are doing very much, uh, uh, I would say, very uh, complex electronics, and, and I think it's a very interesting fit with Incap. Good. Uh, you have probably already started the integration work. Uh, how it has started and ha has it proceeded with your plans? Yes, it has proceeded with our plans. So, so we have started different task groups and, and, and we're working uh, here. here. Uh, of course, many of the integration tasks are long term as well yeah. when, it, when it comes to getting the synergy effects and so uh, in a, on a maximum level. So, so, but yeah, it has started very well. And, and I'm glad to, to see that the team and also our new team members from AWS are very enthusiastic and 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 looks uh, very motivated to to do these tasks. That's good to hear. Uh, if investors are looking for new income, what are the three most important factors that they should pay attention to? No, I think I think as I mentioned before that that uh, the risk with with us being a little bit too focused on a few customer accounts yeah. that is gone now, yeah. and we have a strong base now with the. Uh, broader geographical presence to, to keep growing the business. And that both through organic growth, but also through acquisitions. So I think uh, Incap still is a very interesting growth case. Yeah. Thank you, Otto, for your answers. And uh, I wish you a successful beginning of a new decade. Thank you very much. Thank you. you.